you know, starting your day with God and going with Him throughout it, it's kind of fun. You know, you have the opportunity to turn to Him, to ask Him, to seek out someone who knows you, someone who loves you, someone who understands you, someone who just might have a plan for you that's a whole lot better than what you got planned for yourself. Now, I don't know about you, but um, me personally, I think God's kind of cool. When I got saved, I thought that emotion was all there was. I thought that this wonderful feeling that I had, this high spiritual, ooh, ah, ooh, yee, woo, 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 you know, was going to be forever and ever. And at one point in time, you know, I proved to myself that if I want to be a monk, <laughs> live a monastic, very isolated life, you know, it's, it's, you could walk in the spirit, you know, you can have like, oh, free, free flowing, you know, kind of like you and God thing. But the most important thing I realized was that God created us with all the emotions. Having a downer emotion isn't a fallen flesh thing. Being down, being low, being kind of sad, crying. God created those. Did you know that? He designed it that way. I have prayed that your own faith may not fail. Christian, take good care of thy faith. For recollect that faith is the only means whereby thou canst obtain blessings. Prayer cannot draw down answers from God's throne, except it be the earnest prayer of a man who believes. <laughs> Faith is a telegraphic wire which links earth to heaven, on which God's messages of love fly so fast that before we call, he answers. And while we are yet speaking, he hears us. But if that telegraphic wire of faith be snapped, how can we obtain the promise? Am I in trouble? No. Uh oh I can obtain help for trouble by faith. Am I beaten down by the enemy? Mm-hmm. My soul on her dear refuge leans by faith. But take faith away, then in vain I call to God. There is no other road betwixt my soul and heaven. Blockade the road, and how can I communicate with the great king? Faith links me with divinity. Faith clothes me with the power of Jehovah. Faith ensures every attribute of God in my defense. It helps me to defy the hosts of hell. It makes me march triumphant over the necks of my enemies, and without faith, how can I receive anything from the Lord? O oh, then, Christian, watch well thy faith. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. We boast of being so practical to people that we want to have a surer thing than faith. But did not Paul say that the promise was by faith that it might be sure? Romans 4, 16. Faith honors God. God honors faith. And in the modern day, faith is notoriously abused, confused, and misconstrued as being a simple force of itself, as though it were not connected to God, and being stretched to learn and to know God in a more intimate and personal way. Faith in and of itself is not something that you exercise and you say, ah, oh, man, I got a power now because I'm of the Holy Spirit. I have this faith power, faith to believe. I can like get riches. I can get like health. I can get like wealth. I can get like uh, deceived. By faith you can. If you're into a faith movement, which is only faith, then you might be deceiving yourself because faith in is what faith is. And faith in isn't the object of what faith is in, but who faith is in. Do you get it? You can't just take your faith and run off and say, ah, it's something that I get to use as a tool to beat, to eat, to you know, slice and dice, to heal, to accomplish anything I want to. No. Faith in Jesus. That's the point. Faith in, not faith of, and not faith about. But supreme confidence knowing that who you know, you know, you know. I don't know. You know, sometimes I think of faith and I... I know that there's, you know, in a metaphorical way, in a spiritual way, we could get into kind of the dynamic of these 
powers that exist and you know say that we tapped into you know the fruit of the spirit which becomes the spirit of god and then the spirit of god because we possess it inside of us we suddenly have imbued within us you know the ability to say to this mountain be thou removed and cast in sea and the mountain will flee and then we could call down the host of heaven in order to protect us and of course they're going to protect us but you know what you can't do anything not according to his will because if you do and you're exercising faith guess what god might have left you to your own circumstance be careful Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen, but it can be abused. It can be confused. But faith in who can never go wrong. You know why? Because you can see him. Ask him to reveal himself to you. Because you can hear him. Ask him to speak to you. Because you can know him. Ask him to know that you know, that you know, that you know. And by faith, God will cause you to see things that you never believed could ever be in this world, much less the next. So, have faith in Jesus. Not have faith in faith. <laughs>